Hello there Voltage Retro people, Pooh Bear here and welcome to my channel and this is just to do a very very quick update to the flip-flop counter. I've added a zero option and that's to do with the zero crossing. Um, usually I pass mainly CV signals through my devices but there's nothing stopping you passing audio and I do tend to pass a bit of audio through the flip-flop counter just to mess around and flipping the sounds but mainly in the stereo field um, but obviously what that can introduce is it's a bit of clicking and really what I've tried to do is, is uh, give this zero option which is to do a zero crossing so I'm waiting for the audio to go across the, the zero line and when it does that's when I can actually do my flip obviously the downside of doing that is we're going to add latency into that particular chain flipping from one to the other because we're flipping the sound from one side to the other it's not that important so but don't use it if you're using a normal cv signal and it's really designed just for port a not to have audios into port a and port b so as a very very simple demonstration um here we go he says uh where's my mouse there it is as you can hear hopefully uh, a bit of clicking sound going on and when we enable the zero kind of eliminate the zero but we are introducing latency into the chain now obviously the lower you go down the, the higher the latency would be down and more in this case because obviously we've got a, a, a low frequency so it's crossing the zero line a lot slower and if you go higher up it's it'd be obviously the latency is a lot lower this type of sound it's not quite as clear you can hear it there just just quieting it down a bit I had it nice and fast because you can hear it really clearly. So it really does clean that sound up. Get them little pops in there. And that's all it is really. Um, just to make you aware, obviously by using it, you get a little bit of latency. Um, but apart from that, uh, it's just there just to maybe help clear up the sound a bit. Obviously, you could use a filter to do similar sort of things as well. But obviously, if your signals are all over the place, then this might be a, a simple option to help you out. Okay, thank you for watching and bye for now.